When performing a rheumatological examination, you must look, feel and move every joint. On examination of the knees, look at the skin, joints and muscles. Look at the knees for swelling, deformity or asymmetry. Note any leg muscle wasting. Next, move on to feel the knees. Any pain around the knees? No. Feel for warmth with the back of your fingers. Compare left and right. Perform the patellar tap to check for moderate to large effusions around the knee. Okay. Now I'm going to move your knee through its range of motion. Passive movement of the knee is carried out with the patient lying supine. Check for flexion and extension of each knee. Okay, perfect. And can you do that yourself? Go through the same actions for active movement, this time with the patient actively flexing and extending each knee. Right. So I'm going to check the stability around your knee, all the ligaments, starting with the cruciates. This I need to put your knee at this angle and stabilize your foot. Check for knee stability by testing the ligaments of the knee. The anterior drawer test tests for damage to the anterior cruciate ligament. Bend your knee up. The posterior drawer test tests for damage to the posterior cruciate ligament. Okay. So next I'm going to check for the collateral ligaments. Lift one of the patient's legs and hold the ankle between your elbow and side. Put a hand on either side of the patient's knee, keeping the knee straight. Yeah. Okay. Apply lateral pressure to the knee to test the lateral collateral ligament and apply medial pressure to the knee to test the medial collateral ligament. Right. So I'm going to check for the menisci. Perform McMurray's test for meniscal damage. So could I get you to turn around onto your stomach then, please? Sure. Next, move the patient to the prone position. Okay. Flex the knee to 90 degrees and perform Apley's grind test. Push down, so just let me know if you feel any pain. Test is positive if there's a click or popping of the knee, or this test induces pain. Repeat for both knees. 90 degrees, this way. Any pain there? No. No. With the patient in the prone position, Examine the popliteal fossa. Check for the presence of a Baker's cyst or a popliteal artery aneurysm. Okay. 